what do you do then? Even, even if it's 70 <laughs> times <laughs> 7 <laughs> times. <laughs> That's what Jesus said. Again. You forgive again and again. Yes, Imagine how many marriages would be healed because of this. Mm. If you would forgive the wrong of your spouse to you and not continue to hold on to it and say, I will never forget, you can forget. Yes, the Spirit yes. of God in you will yes, help yes. you to forget yes. because the love nature is shed abroad in your heart. Yes, Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Wow, we have learned so much already. We'll continue after the break. Stay yes, tuned. Yes. Love is gentle and kind. Love values others. Love is a choice. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. This love is revealed in the April edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Learn about the importance of love in your day-to-day -day walk as Christians in 30 life-changing articles on the all-important subject of love. It's packed full of articles on love. And it's such a pertinent subject. It's a subject that everyone will want to know something about. You can walk in love every day and at all times. From the time I have been reading the Rhapsody of Realities, I know that God loves me. I know that God gives me the tremendous power to change any situation. Get the April edition of Rhapsody of Realities today and watch your life be an epitome of God's love. Log on to www.rhapsodyofrealities.org to place your orders. Or you can call the numbers now displayed on your screen. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, we've been sharing on the message today from Pastor Chris, Love Doesn't Recall Offenses. And we start with the theme scripture in Ephesians 4 verse 31, where the Bible says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. And you know, Dickiness, we were just you know, reading in the second paragraph where Pastor was saying that we should be as babes. Because yeah. from the Bible in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 20, 20, where it says, Brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it in malice? Be ye children, but in understanding be men. Yeah. And Pastor was saying, I mean, babies are so innocent. I mean, they don't, they don't keep any bitterness or malice. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't know enough to have, have such sense to be thinking, look, I mean, no, I'm, going, I'm not going to talk to this person again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're even learning to talk, not to talk about everything <laughs> good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then in the next paragraph, Pastor Chris says, One of the dangerous consequences of unforgiveness in the lives of those who harbor it is that it short circuits the power of God in their lives. Wow! Making them unable to function with the Spirit. Hmm. Can you imagine that? I mean, here you are thinking that somebody has hurt you. That somebody has you know done wrong to you and yet by holding bitterness against that person you're actually hurting yourself the more it's like you're beating up yourself because somebody has done something mm. you're, you're doing mm. worse things to yourself yeah. imagine cutting i mean this is the second time off. pastor spoke about the consequence of unforgiveness you know earlier on he said first of all i mean you're robbing yourself of the beauty the beauty that could glow from your life. You're taking out the shine. You're taking out the shine. Out of your life. You know, and then now he says you are short circuiting the power of God, God in your life, making yourself unable to function with the spirits. I mean, what kind of situation is that? Is that the kind of situation you want to find yourself? I, sure I mean, and, and you know the funny thing, there's some already in that situation. Maybe you've been wondering that why is it that I'm not just attuned to the spirit anymore? I mean, things don't just seem to be flowing for me. I still remember when I first got born again. I mean, look, I was always enjoying. You know what? Check it with this message. You know, sometimes I mean, the spirit, the, the Bible talks about you know, you know, sometimes using the word of God to check yourself. Yeah. So you're using this scripture now. You're checking. It's for correction. Okay, for correction. Glory to God for reproof, for instruction in righteousness. You know, so that the man of God will be thoroughly furnished and equipped for every good work. So allow this word, glory to God, Amen. to correct you, hallelujah, to instruct you and make the necessary changes. Amen. Hmm. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris continues, he says, 
this actually reminds me the fact that the, if you have bitterness in your heart it will short circuit the power of God and make you to be unable to function with the spirit pastor Chris says it reminds me of what happened to the prophet Elisha and the story is in 2nd Kings chapter 3 when the kings of Israel Judah and Adam the three kings came to um, Elisha to inquire of the Lord from him now the prophet spoke out in anger to the king of Israel mm. because the king of Israel had been doing several bad things and really he wasn't pleased with his actions with his imperfections here mm, we are imperfections. <laughs> good, good. and then in verse 14 the prophet actually said as the Lord of hosts liveth before whom I stand surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat the king of Judah I would not look toward thee nor see thee mm. now he's talking to the king to the king of Israel saying you you've come to me if it were not for the fact that I'm regarding the presence of the person you came with I will not see thee I will not talk to you mm. I mean that means he was angry mm. with the king of Israel so they didn't honor the king anymore Such that didn't honor the king. which was not right no. you know and so in fact by that time he had <laughs> You know, the Spirit of God wasn't functioning with him anymore. Yes. He had to call for a minstrel, a musician to play, so that the anointing would come on him. Oh. I mean, can you imagine that? So really, <laughs> you know, sometimes we do this and we think that it's actually a recommendation. No, Obviously, God, you it's know, to not. probably, you know, have some <laughs> worship or have some music to before make you... Before the Spirit of God, because you can be sensitive <laughs> to the sensitive. Spirit of God. That's not, but that's not where it should be then. it's not a recommendation then. at all. Be because the reason why the prophet was not sensitive was because he was walking out of love. Love. So if you are walking in love, you will perpetually be sensitive, and be sensitive hallelujah, to the Holy Spirit Ghost. of God. And, and that is beautiful. I mean, you want to be sensitive all the all time to the Holy Ghost. Because you never know what is going, what is happening. You want to hear Him all the time. He knows all things. He can be telling you, no, don't go this way. Don't say that. Don't do this. You know, every moment of your life, He can be guiding you. You can function in the wisdom of God. Do you still remember what Pastor shared with us a couple of days ago when he talked about the fact that, I mean, if we're walking in love, that Jesus said if we keep His commandment, that He and the Father will come oh and God. make their abode with God. us and live Glory with us. You can God. see, this is it. That is it. If you're walking in love, mm. I mean, the Father and Jesus, they're just with you. Hallelujah. You don't need any, you don't, you don't need any minstrel. <laughs> Glory to God <laughs> to get you to be close mm -hmm. or to get you to experience that presence or, you mm -hmm. know, to, to hear that His voice because you're walking in love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Make this up your mind. Beautiful. Pastor says, says Elijah was so angry and bitter against the king of Israel that he couldn't hear what the Spirit was saying. Don't open the door to Satan in your life through anger, bitterness, or mali. Put them away completely. If you've held anything against anyone, it's time to sincerely forgive them and show them the love of the Father. Wow. Show them the love of the Father. Make up your mind to walk in love. Make up your mind. Don't keep any offenses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is beautiful. We're going to go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll continue. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. all around the world have the opportunity to receive the freshness of